I'm at Art Group's Legal IT Conference with Neil Harbison, who is the world's first cyborg. The first thing is, is it on all the time? It's always on. I, I decided I would not have an on-off switch in the same way that we can never switch us off our smell sense or our sense of hearing, mm -hmm. not even our sight. We can never really stop seeing. Even when you close your lids, you can still see things. So I wanted the sensor. Uh, the sensory organ to be always on. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, it's always on. So without it, you are completely colorblind. I see things in grayscale, but I sense color through vibrations in my head that become sounds. And this allows me to go beyond sight. So it goes beyond what I would ever be able to see, because this allows me to sense infrared and ultraviolet, so it can go uh, a bit more beyond human sight. That's fantastic. So what does this look like? So this looks in grayscale, but then I listen to it in uh, F and silence. So this is this is a shade of um, I guess a shade of black or yes. very 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 dark color because yes. it's uh, almost silent. And then this sounds a shade of red. So it's uh, a shade of uh, F. Absolutely. F. So it's, it's is it the note F? Yes. Each color has its own notes. This is F sharp. Um, yeah. This is more G. So each color creates a light frequency that corresponds to a musical note. And these are the notes that I keep hearing all the time. So for you, color is music? Yes, and music is color music as well. Because when color. I listen to music, each note that I hear corresponds to a color. So I can perceive colors when I listen to someone's voice or music. Um, so it's a new sense. It's called the sonochromatic sense, both sound and color. How does it work with upgrades? Because you have a technology that's permanently implanted. So I have Bluetooth connection that allows me to connect to other senses. So mm -hmm. I could connect to uh, uh, new senses that are mm -hmm. outside my body, and then I could perceive more colors. So I could upgrade my senses by connecting to external sensors. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. exploring now, connecting to satellites so I can sense colors that are way far from here, and then also extending it to far ultraviolets and far infrared. So that's how I upgrade my senses through the internet. So from a business point of view, do you see opportunities coming out, coming out of this um, cutting edge technology? Well, there's a growing amount of people interested in having new senses. So there will mm -hmm. be a market where people will be able to buy a sense or rent a sense. So they'll be able to either extend existing senses or add new senses that still don't exist in humans and then uh, there will be a market for this. The market that is now doing wearables will soon shift to implantables and this will change not only or add a new market but also change the way we see things and we perceive laws and we perceive identity. So many things will shift. Also insurance companies will have to think about how to deal with this and uh, governments will have to deal about regulate and regulating uh, cyborg laws. So the, in the same way that mm. there's laws regulating technology, mm. if humans become technology, there'll be laws regulating uh, humans or cyborgs. And that's something that we need to, to, to be part of, because uh, we, we need to be sure that the human rights are not um, affected. In the same way that cyborgs mm. are humans, Mm -hmm. are, uh, we need to protect the right of becoming a cyborg as well.